in this bitch coming at you. Be recorded. That a motherfucker. So today I'm gonna try to make this really quick. <laughs> Lightheaded. Um. So remember that time that uh, I was showing you the Noir NT, the Mini, you know, from Analog. I told you it was like a little extra special something, something that I'm gonna uh, fuck with. It's right here. So I'm gonna uh, go ahead and crack this open. Try to make this as fast as possible. This is gonna be part one of part two. This is just the unboxing video for this. Um, so these deets ain't. Uh, this is gonna be just the unboxing video for this thing. What the hell? It's a box within a box. Um, and uh, and then in the next video I'll show. I'll show this working with the uh, NT Noir Mini. So basically, very underwhelming. No, no documentation, no nothing. Um, this is called the Retrovision. Retrovision? Let me double check that. Oh, fuck. If you go to RetroUSB.com, Click on home brews. Scroll all the way to the bottom. You'll see this product. You can see it. Let's see if you can see that. Retrovision. So, because I'm retarded, that's what I did. So it's basically, can I, can you see me? I don't know. I look fat. What the fuck? There we go. Whatever. Uh, basically it's a super Game Boy, but for the regular NES. So, and uh, from the website, it says the, from the because I can department, comes the NES Retrovision for playing classic Game Boy games on your NES. A first generation Game Boy is stuffed inside an NES cart and wired to a custom board to translate the Game Boy graphics to the NES. All the original ports are still accessible so you can hook up headphones, speakers, or connect multiple systems together with the link port. Because the full authentic board is used, there are no game compatibility issues. Compatibility issues. Even the Game Boy camera and printer, which I own, and it's right there. Uh, behind you. No, behind you. Right? right? Alright, never mind. I'll show it to you later, in the next video. Um, if your front loader console has the audio resistor mod, then the Game Boy audio is pumped through your NES. Other systems will need to use the headphone jack on the side of the cart. The cart will fit a front loader, however, it will need the metal bar pulled out like with the game action replay. Using the second controller, the color palette can be swapped between eight settings. The outside border can also be changed to the Game Boy border, black, white, or an extension of the Game Boy colors. Custom color sets can easily be created if requested. The Retrovision cart includes the Cyclone lockout chip for all NES console regions. The region can be changed by pushing the reset button when the console power light is blinking. Yes, the Super Game Boy is much cheaper. Trust. So is the Game Boy player for GameCube. If you think pointing that out is somehow clever, you are missing the whole point. It's because he can. And I got it because I can. Uh, package includes Retrovision Clear Cart, Cyclone Multi-Region Lockout Chip for NTS, C, PAL, A, PAL, B, Asian systems, a black dust sleeve, I don't see any dust sleeve. Maybe it's a clear dust sleeve. Uh, system compatibility list works on authentic NES uh, systems, including NTSC, PAL A, PAL B, other Asian systems. Works on the FC Twin, NEX, and Retro Duo clones. Works on Famicom using 72 to 60 pin converter, untested on portable systems, likely to work. So that's all the literature we got. Crack this hole open and see what the fuck's going on in here. So, there it is. Retro USB 
clear case. It wasn't the black one. Oh, pretty cool anyways. So, wow. That is... I guess when you're an electronics engineer, you could just... You just make whatever the fuck you want. So that's pretty cool. I, I, my only gripe here is this, that I'm, I'm going to be gripping like this shit and getting it all... Uh, getting all fucked up here. The solder work looks decent. I mean, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not like the fucking professional or anything like that, but it um, looks better than what I can do. A little Dremel headphone jack. But yeah, that's RetroVision. So that's it. Uh, let me help go ahead and grab something to put in here. Uh, I got a couple things. So I got a new one coming, uh, I think. Not too sure. Maybe not. I don't know. I forget. But this basically just kind of... What was going on here? Oh. What was that? This just goes like that. Or, or, or... Which way this is supposed to go in here? Maybe this way. Or, ta da! And you can, you know, rotate. This was like the first, you know, camera, I'm assuming, portable for video game stuff. So let's say if I put this in here, I'm gonna rotate it this way so I could use the Game Boy camera. Uh, besides that, I'll probably just, you know, be using the EverDrive. Again, like yeah, with the with the, I mean the noir, <laughs> I can probably just fucking jailbreak it and load the ROMs anyways. But I think this is so much cooler. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people spending five hundred bucks on a PlayStation Five. This is my PS Five, I guess. I don't know. It's stupid, but I will add. I, I believe, Mister, uh, what do you call it? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But um, I believe I'm one of five people in the entire planet, I believe, I believe, that own this. I was told uh, from a good buddy who's number four on the planet that, um, yeah, that he was number four. So I'm assuming I'm number five. I don't know who else ordered it. I don't know how many of these are limited to, but they're rare enough where I'm assuming it's probably the case. So, But with that said, uh, let's jump into the next video real quick and uh, I'll see you over there. So thanks for watching and peace out.